Yo, what's up guys, Bossman F22 here, coming at you with another video. And in this video, as you can see, we are in the Minecraft Battle Lobby. And I'm gonna be showing you, like I did kind of in part one, how to, like, or like secrets, I guess, in the map. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the Elytra, so let's just do this for good luck. <coughs> I'm sorry. And so now let's get the Elytra, put it on. Um, I probably won't be wearing this the whole time, just because that's how I glitched out on the map, and I don't want to do that again. So, yeah, so this is how you get to the bottom of the map. Yeah, so the old lobby map is actually, like, underneath this map, I guess. So, you have to turn off the fountain and do a couple other things. So, what you want to do is you want to make this water bucket up here point, like, down that way. And so that opens up, which door, oh yeah, it's this one. So let's go over here. It opens up these doors, come down here, and there's this room, as you can see, and there's a button, press that, the water goes down, and then you can go back up to the fountain, over here. And so yeah, as you can see, the water is gone. So now, all we have to do is get down to the map. So what you want to do is come over to like the side where the winner circle thing is, I guess, like that. And then there's this lever, you flip that, and then it opens up these pistons, and then you can drop down. And yeah, as you can see, this is the old lobby. Um, the only thing really important in here are the heads, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So basically what you do is you collect all the heads, you put them in this chest, and then it'll unlock the dragon head. So, yeah, let's do... Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to take my elytra off first, because I glitched... That's it. Well, like I said before, that's how I glitched out of the map, and I ended up not being able to get back in, so... I don't want that to happen again. So let's come over here, flip this lever. Yeah, this is the nether. And here's the Wither Skeleton School. So I'm just gonna put this in now. But, um, wait, never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this in the chest now and then. I don't know why I did that, and then we'll do the other ones. And so yeah, as you can see, it'll light this up, just like that. And then, once you get all those lighted up, it'll open up to iron doors, and that's how you get in. So, alright, so now I have to get back. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right room. That doesn't do anything and anymore. So let's go down here. How did I get back up? Was it... This? Wait, no, I already went up here. Um, sorry guys, I don't know how to get back up. I know it's like two iron doors with the lever that you had to flip and you had to go up some stairs. Oh, wait, no, it's this one, it's this, okay. So you come up these stairs, and then this creeper head thing, this isn't actually like how you get the creeper head um it's another way and the creeper head one is actually like really difficult unless you have like two people because you have to hurry and do it fast i'll show you that one probably like last so now um i think i don't know i think i'm gonna do the zombie head one now so y yeah so what you want to do is you want to press all these buttons super duper fast and it'll open up that on the floor. I think it's better if I do it like that, but sometimes it doesn't work like that time. Let's try it again. It might take you a couple tries. Oh, and there we go. So let's get the zombie head. Um, and now... Um... Yeah, let's do the Steve head. So the Steve head's all the way over here, and you have to, like, turn the swords kind of like in the other map. Like, you have to turn the swords a certain way, and that's how you get to it. So if you come in here, the diamond sword, how does the diamond sword go? 
Um. Wait. Okay, yeah, it goes like that. And the gold sword. Yeah, the gold sword says stays the same. Then the iron sword goes straight up. And then the stone sword goes like inverse of what it was. And then it opens up this. And this is. Yeah, the thief head. And so then, it also opens up these iron doors over here. I have- they don't really serve a purpose. All they do is there's a chest with snowballs inside. But, um, if I can find it... Where did it go? Yeah, there's an iron sword in the item frame, and that's like, showing you how the stuff goes. Like, how the iron sword actually, like, goes. But I don't think, like, if you turn it, it does anything. So now, let's do the, yeah, the skeleton. So what you want to do is you want to grab a bow and arrow from over here. Well, bow and arrows. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. So I'm going to get a bunch just because for the creeper head you need a lot. Well, no, you only really need, like, two or two stacks, but it doesn't really matter. So... There's a button up there that you have to press, but to make it easier, I'm gonna go all the way up to like the top floor and try. So, let's go up here. And this lever, it doesn't actually like do anything. The other one does fireworks and stuff, but that lever I haven't figured out if it does anything or not. So yeah. So, it's right here. So, you just gotta shoot it. And I missed. Let's try again. Alright, there we go. And then you get the skeleton skull. And so now, I think the last one, yeah, it's the creeper. Um, okay, let's go down here. Put the elytra on. Actually, wait, no. Actually, yeah, I'll just put it on. And then I'm gonna fly over to here. Eat. And right there, that's where I glitched through, so just in case, I'm just gonna take the elytra off. So yeah, as you can see, that's another entrance into the nether. And, so yeah, the creeper head, there's, it makes it a lot, lot easier if you have the elytra, because you can get there a lot faster. So, what you want to do, act, and this is how you get into the nether from here. There's a little lever, but you can't have anything in your hand to do it. So yeah, it opens up that. But I'm not going to go down there, because I've already been in it, in the nether. So yeah, coming up here. And then over here, you see these pressure plates? The bad part is, if you try to press B, it opens up this menu. And you don't want that. So what you have to do is you have to press Y, take it, and then press X. So it drops only one. And then you got to back away quickly, so you don't like pick it up. And then there's another one on the other side. And that's why it helps to have the elytra because you can like get to it a lot faster and the arrows will eventually like despawn so you have to do it fast so i'm just going to take it off and come all the way back up here and here's the second one so let's try this again So yeah, and as you can hear, there's fireworks going off, and then, oh, okay, never mind. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so then now, it's over here, so let's come over here, all the way up here, where is it, oh, it's on this side, oh yeah. And then, like, underneath this block, it opens up, and then there's the creeper head. So, now, we have all the heads. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go down to the bottom of the map and put them all in the chest, and then we can get the ender dragon head. As you can see, all the lights turn on, and you heard that iron door open. So there's that iron door that opens, and then there's this one. So let's just go to this one. 
And then, yeah, as you can see, sorry about that, guys. My audio cut out for some reason. So, anyway, what you want to do is when you get in here, you press those buttons on the side, and bam, you got the Ender Dragon head. And this stays with you in battle, like if you're wearing it, but there's only one, so it's first come, first serve. So, yeah, and I wonder if there's any, like, stuff behind here. No, it doesn't seem like it. Um, does that do anything? Alright, now, so let's just go back. And now, we're gonna open up all the bookshelves. These don't do anything. I, at least that I know of. So, let's, this time, let's do it right and get up to the top of the map again. So, yeah, so I don't think they do anything. But I'm not sure. I don't- I'm not positive, but I don't think they do. Sorry, I said that like three times. <laughs> so now, so as you can see, these are the bookshelves. I know they look like plain now, but they like open up. Which is cool. So, what you want to do is in this room, there's all these shelves with these iron doors that don't go to the water. And then over here in the very corner, there's a lever flip that lever it opens up diamond one and i don't know how to open that up i think i i think i do i just don't remember how so that yeah that opens up the diamond one um and then the next one there's like and i went down too far there's like a little like great thing i guess it's this and then there's a button a stone button inside here just kind of hard to see and then um uh, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. So, the gold one. Yeah. Yeah. There's a button underneath these stairs right here. Right here. Click that. It opens up the gold one. Yeah. And then the last one, you need two people. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is how you open up the doors. Yeah, okay. There's nothing really inside of here except for, um, well, there was one, th I watched a video and it says that there's a thing behind the painting. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, it was the angel painting. Oh, yeah. Okay, I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I was supposed to do that in my other video, but it's okay. So, yeah, it just gives you armor. Um, I don't think there's anything else down here except for um there's the painting i mean the item frame that so shows like what place to turn the bucket so anyway now what you want to do is you see this thing you need two people for this otherwise it's like really hard so i'm going to get my other player in real fast so let's make him join okay so we're going to come over to over here and that's the wrong way. Yeah, it's right here. And as you can see, just look how massive that Ender Dragon head is. So you get on this pressure plate, then you have to wait a little bit, and then get off, and then it'll open it. And so then I'm just gonna leave now. Alright, so... Now, that is all the bookcases open, and I don't think that does anything. At least like now so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in part two part two will be kind of boring it's just getting the music discs and the armor but i will see you later